Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny Delilo. I'm delighted to be joined with her fantastic movie, Al Alba. Let's take a look at the clip. Um, I'm so happy you're back with us. It's your second film with us, right? Yes. At New Filmmakers? Yes. <laughs> thank you for coming back. It's been so long and we're so happy to have you and your wonderful talents back with us, so thank you. Um, I love your film. I love your style. I always just love seeing your work. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. So it's kind of an experimental film that is about the women that arrive to a village and, and she is in the mission of liberate other women from patriarchy. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of experimental because uh, when she arrives to the village, uh, she finds out that one woman that looks exactly like her mm -hmm. uh, have died. So then uh, she thinks that uh, one of the guys that is kind of uh, kind of the boss of, of, of the village or something like that um, kill her. So then she promotes uh, like um, rebellion mm -hmm. against him um, with the other women. It's mm -hmm. like an awake. It's like uh, she make them to awake. Yeah. Against patriarchy. It's it's brilliant, and you know there are so many moments in your film that you just you just so many kind of sequences and moments you left us in. I love the way that it was shot. It was you know it's very very um, epic to watch on a big screen as well. Where did the inspiration come for you in deciding to create this particular project? So I film uh, during the pandemic in 2020 and. At this time, I was rewriting my future film, which is called the same name, Al Alba. And I have like, uh, in my future film, uh, I have some uh, dreamy scenes uh, in natural landscapes. So I, I have some images, very, very clear images that I wanted to try, like uh, um, to see how they look on camera and also like the, the aesthetic of mm -hmm. Andalusian culture, like for example, with the with the um, dress uh, that women um, wear uh, in the Holy Week, or or for example, they wear it when they they go to a wedding, mm -hmm. and it's like a lace um, and a comb here mm -hmm. in black. They can wear this also if someone died. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try like this uh, kind of aesthetic, like Andalusian aesthetic, uh, with flamenco also, and and the natural landscapes that yeah. I that that I was uh, one hundred percent sure that I wanted to to use in my future film. Mm -hmm. So this combination make me like uh, create yeah create this uh, short story. Um, your score was amazing. Like, I love it. It was so good. And it, and it was every single scene fitted perfectly with every sequence you gave us. H tell us a little about that journey. So my second profession is singer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, but this came uh, because I, I started to compose. Bueno, I always, I always wanted to be a, a, a singer since... I am a kid, but I never, I never kind of uh, try really because I, I don't know you. I was insecure, or you are embarrassed, or you, I don't know. I didn't know that actually I can make a living, or or I can make good music. But when, when I started to write this future film, Al Alba, the future film is about a singer uh, that lives in Harlem and. And she's a jazz uh, singer, and her grandmother, who used to be a flamenco singer, died, and she needs to 
return to her village in, in the mountains and confront the problematic relationship that she has with the mother. So in a way she's forced like to continue with the tradition of singing flamenco, but she's not good uh, at singing flamenco because flamenco is kind of very difficult kind of yeah, music. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And so because I started to write this uh, future film that I have in my mind for a long time, uh, even before I started to study at Columbia University, I thought like I'm gonna start to write Son of the Sons because I will need them uh, for the script, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And then this uh, this song specifically, like uh, I started to compose songs and then I for for the film, but then I end up like actually uh, releasing an album. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so that's brilliant. Also, also that also because I was a little depressed after the break, after I break up with my boyfriend and I just moved to New York and it was like uh, a strange uh, years. Um, but anyway, uh, this song specifically is coming from a poem from Federico Garcia Lorca, which is a, a very famous uh, um, poem um, uh, that I adapted, kind of. I changed a few things and I adapted uh, to do the song. Wow. It was so good. It was so good. You're so talented. My goodness. So many different roles you had in this film, too. I, I and actually like the the poem also I th I think uh, it was it was fitting really good because the the um, flamenco and the um, most of the poems like uh, the lyrics of flamenco are very deep they always mm -hmm. talk about death love um, like very heavy topics mm -hmm. right. Um, and this is something that uh, that I wanted also to portray in, mm -hmm. in the film because yeah. I have all this topic about the death and about culture and about r the roots, coming to the roots and about a realization of who you are, right? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. um, Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm also, because obviously it's been an experimental film. I, I love, we, we love experimental film and new filmmakers. Um, do you some, do you always know every sequence you're going to do, or did you kind of discover as you were going through it? Oh, let's try this shot, or let's try this, because there were so many great moments in there. And did you know that beforehand going into it? No, I plan everything a lot. You did. Uh -huh. I'm going to the locations. I'm going normally when I film in my hometown. I work with one of my best friends. He's photographer. Uh, we will go to the locations with two cameras. We, I will tell him, like, uh, I imagine this, specific, specifically for this uh, film, I was imagining, like, uh, a lot of lines mm -hmm. and the composition with triangles, which is something I want to try also in my feature film. And in terms of composition, I think uh, this film for me as a filmmaker is like another step, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because I plan everything like uh, like I, I have it in my mind like okay I'm gonna do a triangle with the characters and and the lines on the cemetery I'm gonna go in this way then I so everything was planned yeah. beforehand yeah. because I went to the location and I spent a lot of time figuring out like uh, what I'm going to do. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was just so, so thorough and it was just really entertaining and to watch. And to play with, sim with symmetry, symmetry yeah. uh, a lot and to break the symmetry somehow in mm. some of the scenes. Yeah, and I love how you took the camera, the angle from down below as well. You just, it was really empowering to watch on the screen with what your ca So you weren't actually gonna be in it, but you, you decided to be in it, right? Cause you, were, you did a, it was great. So it, I was in it because it was it, it was a film, but kind of a music video. Mm -hmm, I used it mm -hmm. also for uh, I really I released the the film also as a music video. So I end up like being because it's a music video. So kind of so I end up being in the film. But um, normally I don't. I mean, it's to be <laughs> in front of the camera is okay, mm -hmm. but I enjoy more like being, being behind. behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah. What What have you? Um, because you know, again, uh, admiration. Because you made this in a in you know close to your to your hometown back you know back in Spain during a very difficult time as well. Looking back on this project, um, what have you kind of learned from this project the most? Is there anything you kind of learned from this particular project, um, or any advice going into your new project now that you've now that you've done this one? This project, like, actually had like kind of. Uh, not a lot of budget, but a proper budget because mm -hmm. it was funded by Life Water, like the brand of water here in the U.S. So they they did um, they they did a, a they created like a um, collection of water bottle oh, wow. inspired by the work of twenty artists, and I was one of these artists. That's amazing. And 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 one of uh, I create kind of the poster of the film is in the label of uh, a live water wow. bottle, and you can buy this in the U.S. Mm. Um, so what I learned because I was also under the pressure that I need to do something for them, right? That I need to deliver something on time. Like I didn't have a lot of time, but uh, I think I learned that uh, once. I was so scared to film during COVID because uh, so I decided to film everything outside and I think in the end was a good choice mm -hmm. because the location, I, I spent a lot of time deciding the location mm -hmm. I, I'm going to choose and, and, it, and, and everything was uh, like outside because I was so scared that mm -hmm. to have 20 people in, a, in the same yeah, room of course. that I think in the end was was a challenge, but but was a super good option. Yeah, no, because fantastic. the the landscapes uh, that I show in the film, I think, are amazing. Oh, they're incredible! Absolutely incredible. Then also, uh, I think for this film, I have like a lot of crew. Yeah. Like I, um, I I was lucky because some of some professionals I come from a very small town in the south of Spain, in Andalusia, and I was so surprised that there are so many talented uh, people, like that they were working in Madrid, and they were working in fashion, in makeup, and they suddenly were in my hometown because for the pandemic, they, they came back to their parents' house. And I was like, wow, so I have like an amazing crew, like very talented people. Yeah. Sir, I, I have like an amazing crew. Cool. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I have like an amazing crew, like uh, full of talented people that they were working professionally in Madrid, and mm. that they end up in my r coming That's back amazing. to my hometown. Um, and what is uh, Island? I was also like uh, collaborating with one of my. She's now. She's like my second cousin. Is the cousin of one of my cousins, and she's a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. So she lent me like a lot of the designs, like the dresses. Oh wow! So I think that what I learned is that you don't need to be like in a big city like Los Angeles or in Spain. Yeah. You don't need to be in a big city like Madrid, mm -hmm. like to do something which is professional yeah. and 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 that is like artistic like in yes. so many ways like you yeah. can you can actually like you can produce like very good uh, films yeah and you did i mean you really did i mean i'm, I'm so glad that you made this film because you know from landscapes to the music to the artistic to what you were the story you're trying to tell it was it was really really good and also i film in a small village and and the council in like uh the council women well the person that was working in the council was a woman and she was so supportive like uh with everything mm. like uh yeah they allowed us like to film in a lot of locations also and that's amazing yeah, the people is so kind in my hometown. Yeah, no, obviously you have to make more movies in your hometown. <laughs> they most definitely. Were, they were over the moon, like, mm. oh yeah, come here. We're gonna provide like food and accommodation. That's so sweet. And, and now you're taking it international and everywhere, and it's from your hometown. So that's very special. Um, what is next for you? My future film. Yeah, it's happening, right? <laughs> well, I hope so. Like, um, it is. It is in development and. 
I have a pro uh, so I was rewriting the script like I started to write the script like six or seven years ago and I was selected bueno I wrote it during the master uh, in screenwriting at Columbia University of New York then I was selected into one of the Torino film uh, lab screenwriting labs and I was rewriting again um, so now I got to the point like I think the script you can change a few things but it's it is, I think it's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I, I rewrite like 15 times, <laughs> <laughs> 15, 15 drafts. So wow. I think at, at this point it's good. But um, now we are waiting like uh, maybe to have, uh, to get a little bit of funding. Yes, in yes. Here in the US because yes. the film start uh, in New York, in Harlem. Mm -hmm. And then to get some public funding in, mm -hmm. in Spain. Oh, that's fantastic. But we have, yeah, I, we have like a kind of the actors that we want uh, to appear Good in morning. the film yeah. and everything. And then I am filming another short film uh, here in Los Angeles in, in June, July. Oh, fantastic. And this is kind of an horror, feminist, Latino um, short film. Oh, great. Which uh, I am very excited about because it's uh, a genre that I didn't kind of explore before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, it's gonna be fun, like the aesthetic. Oh, I am. I am now thinking because I always, when I think of in a film, mm -hmm. for me, films have colors. Mm -hmm. No, of course, like Al Alba was orange. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And this one is green, green oh. and pink. I so everything is gonna go with these uh, color sequences, yeah. Like I, I really, it's, it's a strange, but I, in terms of kind of how it's gonna look, uh, I see a lot of simi uh, similar aesthetic with in the mood of love, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, somehow. Um, but it's gonna be darker because, of course, the topic is very heavy. Yeah. We're very, very happy to have your second film with us. So <laughs> we can't wait for your third. So thank you very much. Really, really thank special. Thank you for having me. New Filmmakers LA have been thank so you. supportive. Always, always. Thank you very much, Fanny. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you.